Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of April 18 to April 24th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy Aquarius and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's see. I'm going to look at some messages for you, Aquarius, in regards to love from the Romance Angels. Let's see. All right, spirit messages for Aquarius. First card we have here is, it says heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, next card we have is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Getting to know each other. All right, I'm going to continue with your reading and we'll see how these cards connect. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. Okay, first card we have here is the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Six of Cups, Nine of Cups in reverse, Ten of Swords, and the King of Swords in reverse at the bottom, Page of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius, so I feel like you have your eye on someone here with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords. You have your eye on someone, someone from your past, someone who you ended things with or they ended things with you or it was mutual, whatever it might be. Yeah, there's two cards that represent endings here with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. But you're looking back at it almost like you're not over it. Almost like you're waiting for this person to, to reach out to you. To show you that they care. You want to know that this person cares. You want to see that this person cares. You're very unhappy here with the Nine of Cups in reverse. So you're very sad. Um, you're feeling, some of you feel a little abandoned. There's something that didn't really go, um, they, it didn't really go as, as expected. It didn't go according to plan. I think you had a vision here with the three of wands. You had like certain expectations or beliefs. And I feel like um, 
yeah it just hasn't been working out i don't know if this is a new person i feel like it feels a little newish For some of you, this is kind of newish and things just didn't really get off the ground between you, t between you and this person. There was no, there was no lift off, like the plane was on the track, but there was no lift off. I feel like an emptiness in your energy, you feel a little empty and you feel a little kind of um, disappointed yeah disappointed tell me about the nine of um, cup spirit Ooh, the two of pentacles okay and the queen of cups okay so you're not really sure what to do with your feelings like you have all of these feelings for a specific person but Things are not working out. There was a separation and ending. And it's like you don't know what to do with the feelings that you have. Um, or if you should even do anything. I feel like it's almost like someone who got stranded. Or stood up, I guess is the word. Stranded or stood up. Some of you feel stood up by this person. What's the Ace of Wands spirit? Temperance in reverse and the Empress in reverse. This could be kind of like unrequited love or unreciprocated love also, where it just feels that way. King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. For some of you, there's an age difference between with the King of Pentacles and Page of Cups. There's an age difference between you two. What's the Seven of Swords? Four of Swords and the Emperor in reverse. Some of you are a little bit like upset with this person or like you feel cheated in some way. Almost like a bruised ego, I want to say also. Some of you feel like your ego um, has been bruised. Almost like, a, like I said, an energy of rejection or of feeling, you're feeling like things weren't reciprocated or unrequited love. You thought you had something, but then it ended up you didn't have anything at all. Some of you were fooled also. What's the Page of Swords? Nine of Swords and the Eight of Wands. You do really want to communicate with this person, but you don't know if it's even worth it. You don't know if it would be worth it with this person because they've already let you down before. How do you see this person, Aquarius? I think that's what I'm struggling to find out oh, actually let me look at the king of swords tell me about this king of swords strength and the two of wands in reverse so you're you're holding back from communicating with them even though you really want to you're resisting the urge or temptation to communicate how do you see this person aquarius what's your view of them we have the two of cups Oh, okay. Yeah, so you you have a really strong connection with this person. You re you really feel a powerful um bond and connection with them. So maybe you do just have to have a, you know, like like it says a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You know, maybe just you just have to like be upfront and be honest with them for better or for worse. You know, for better or for worse, even if it doesn't turn out um, the way you would like it to turn out, it's it's best to just kind of get it off, get it off your chest, you know? 
instead of instead of hanging on to those feelings and letting it consume you, you know? How else do you see this person, um, Aquarius? Queen of Swords in reverse, you might see them as cold towards you. Six of Wands, okay, and the Moon, okay, so you might feel like they're very cold or detached. Um, you might feel like they're acting like they don't care with the Six of Wands. Okay, so, I mean, it's, yeah, I think you're making assumptions here with the Page of Swords, you know. I don't think you have the full picture, that's why the Moon is here, because um, there's a lot of confusion, there's a lack of clarity, so... Sometimes it's just best to have, like it says, heart-to-heart -heart conversation and um, at least you you can get it off your chest and you can um, move on if that's, what, if that's what's needed. Or you can just pursue it, continue pursuing it if, if it's available. Let's look at this person and see where, where are they energetically. Spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. In regards to your person, let's take a look at this card. It's the Queen of Swords in reverse. Could be um could be an air sign that you're dealing with for some of you. Okay, we have the Fool, could be an Aries, Three of Swords in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse, the World card in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, and Hierophant. Could be a Taurus. Or a water sign at the bottom chariot cancer energy Okay. Hmm. So I do feel like this person is um, carrying some kind of heartbreak here. Three of Swords is here. Heartbreak, disappointment. Um, I feel like they're carrying a grudge here a little bit or like resentment a little bit. What's that fool doing, spirit? Let me look at that fool. Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. There might be a little bit of blaming energy here coming from this person towards you. What's the Three of Swords? Ten of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. What's the Queen of Swords in reverse? Two of Pentacles and the Hermit. I feel like this person is not on the same page as you. It's almost like they have a different picture of what happened between you two than than what you do. Than the one you have. Almost like they have a different version. Yeah, I think they have a different version. So you two are just not really... Um, 
uh, aligned with each other in regards to the way you're seeing things and the way they're seeing things. I feel like this person feels betrayed by you a little bit. Or it's like they expected you to do something and you and you failed to do what they expected from you. And it, and they're taking it as as a betrayal or as as a disappointment. As a letdown. I do feel like a little arrogance from them. Like ego and arrogance. Yeah, especially with the chariot. Tell me about that chariot spirit. Ten of wands and the six of wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like they're looking at you like you're the one who messed things up, you know. They're accusing you. This person is very unstable. Um, Aquarius, whoever you're dealing with, I feel like they're very, very unstable. They're very like up and down, back and forth, all over the place. Um, their energy feels very erratic. That's why I have so many cards out because it feels very erratic. Magician in reverse and the strength card. Yeah, ego is coming through really strongly. Four of wands and almost like a, no commitment here. I don't feel like this person is thinking about commitment with you, Aquarius, or they're not they're not giving they're not giving it attention. The idea of having commitment with you, they're not really considering it right now. Yeah, there it is, all right. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It's like they're not considering it. They're, this is someone who also wants to keep their freedom, is what I'm sensing, Aquarius. It's like, yeah, they have feelings for you, but they also want to maintain their freedom and kind of maintain... Have They, they don't want strings attached. They don't want to get attached. Almost like a little bit of a player, but it feels like a depressed player though, because yeah, their their energy feels very depressing. So it's a it's a depressed player. I don't really see them with any plans for the future. N not for themselves or not and not for you and and the relationship i feel like this is someone who doesn't really know where they're heading they're just kind of trying to figure it out you know day by day but they do seem very busy and distracted like their mind feels busy and distracted and they're not really 100% focused on you or or the relationship with you They're kind of a little bit complacent, I want to say. If there was an ending between you two, it's like they're, they're, they're not happy about it, but at the same time, they're, they've kind of accepted it, basically. Yeah, they're just accepting whatever happened as, as it is what it is, you know, type of energy. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of layers to this person, though. I feel like there's a lot of complexity to them. All right, I'm going to continue in the extended Aquarius. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and see what are their real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.